I've just finished my shift and I cannot go into London. It's not fair because it's nice and sunny. Uh, ah well, maybe next week. I'm talking about sleeveless um, hoodie. That is how good it is and stuff. And I didn't really plan this out because this isn't scripted and this isn't necessarily going to get cut because this is Apple Clips. So yeah. Uh, still feeling a little unwell which sucks it's literally the end of it just the last little chunk of it that's just latching on and getting on my last nerves so yeah here's hoping it goes by the time I um, by the time the plans come around that's all I'm gonna say spoilers the plans for April and for the rest of the month and stuff and I should kind of think these things through. Although with that said, my nose is kind of blocking up again, so and I'm not putting on that. Yeah, I'm not putting on that. This is my situation at the moment. It's annoying. It's a glorious day. If you haven't skipped to the next clip yet, I have no idea what you guys are doing in the day. But with that said, it is Easter holiday, so yeah. But yeah, I need to kind of show you guys a bit of a view as well. And another thing, it's kind of weird being on this phone because, um, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, you'll see why. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. I'm being looked at because I'm a weirdo with a 5.5 inch phone and, yeah, a 5.5 inch screen phone. And I'm going to shut up now. Yeah, so it really is a glorious day. You're wondering, yes, this is Thames. It's kind of weird seeing like the Thames. Well, it's, it's weird seeing the tide out, and obviously there being a massive beach point. Although, with that said, I would not recommend going down that bit. So, yeah, not really a good idea. And remember what I was saying about this phone. Yeah, the camera is stunning. I'm talking like, yeah, it's just. I did not expect it to be this good. I'm talking it rivals my ATD to a certain degree, but it rivals my ATD. The only difference is, is that I can't take any um, raw photos. I wonder if they actually have an app for iPhone that allows me to take more photos, and I think the tide's still going out, so the tide is going to get lower than this. I mean, this is kind of a represent... <laughs> this is a representation of um, how good the camera is just a second but yeah that is uh, how good it is it's so weird and I'm not looking at the screen just to make sure I'm recording or anything or to look at myself I'm just looking at the colors of it I'm kind of exposing myself but it doesn't it's this camera is quite forgiving which is kind of weird but yeah look at that let me show you on the better camera Here's the thing, to be able to have a pier this long, you have to be quite far outside of London. And for the Thames to be this wide, you have to be quite far outside of London. But uh, this is how far out I am. That bridge right there is the M25. It's so weird. But I just said um, for a pier to be this long, basically, uh, you have to be quite far outside of London. So Erith Pier is the longest pier in London by a significant margin and I'm talking like you have quite a lot of piers out there including one in central London where you could just walk out uh, near towards or actually just um, next to the Oxo Tower uh, yeah and that one is quite long so although with that being said this one just kind of trounces that by far <laughs> I mean it's probably long enough to if it were to go out straight it'll probably be long enough to so, yeah, that's just a little bit of a fact for you. But yeah, if you enjoy these, let me know. Um, and I'll try and keep up the upload.
boats. I do need to get back onto the upload schedule and stop procrastinating that um, just be weird and stutter all over your screens. But yeah, that is a uh, kind of Apple Clips episode two. Yeah, just gonna let you absorb this beauty, so to speak. But yeah. See you soon.